What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Night Shift at Dolls, where this is a Five Nights at Dolls game based off of the first game, but in a but in a new and improved universe. So yeah, um, I, anyways, I'm playing this game because I've gotten a couple requests to play this game as well as Five Nights at Dolls 2, and I will fulfill the request for those who requested it. I pro I will fulfill this game as well as Five Nights at Dolls 2. But anyways, without further ado, we will start a new game and see what that's time for us. Oh, it just jumps into night one. There's no newspaper? Oh, we got a phone call. Oh, there's a newspaper right there. Uh, hello? Z for the hello? light, X for the door. Oh, um, hi. Um, I didn't actually expect you to show up. Most people applying for this job just assume they're working the day shift. Guess who actually read some of the contracts? Most people don't do that anymore. So, um... Oh, we have Vance, welcome huh? Welcome to the new and improved Mr. Doll's Pizza Place. We actually almost ended up buying another building, but, uh... What's with the heat icon? One of our real estate just came, came just in time and informed us of a better location for, the, for less the price. It's even in a more populated area, too, which means we'll get a lot more customers than before. Now, uh, there are a few things to go over. Some minor things, like don't let the doors overheat, don't to keep the vent gates closed for too long, the animatronics might stuff you into an animatronic zoo, don't leave your beers in the fridge after your shift is over. I'm just going to assume you heard the thing about the animatronics. Um, ever wonder why it says in the rules, be before 11.53 p.m.? The animatronics have a little bug. After hours, their identification systems become a little malfunctional. They have a hard time telling the difference between a human being and an endoskeleton. And it's company policy that all endoskeletons must be outfitted with an animatronic suit. Now you might be thinking, what's so dangerous about a fur-covered costume? Well, they're not normal costumes. They have wires, crossbeams, circuit boards, gears, and other computer components protruding within the suits. The body can't withstand that much compression and um, friction. But hey, this is why you read your contracts. You're also obligated not to contact the police as your contract states in line 34. Employees who have contacted the law will be blacklisted from all locations owned by Fastronic Inc., such as Mr. Darl's Pizza Place, Freddy Fazbear's, and Humdum's Diner. So, you would be banned from a lot of pizzerias. I'm sorry, man. Part of the contract. We're doing our job. Okay, so, now that that's out of the way, it's time to talk about everything you have to protect yourself from the animatronics. You see, because of the money we saved for renting this space, we have unlimited power. But we had to make some accommodations for that. Um, the doors don't have ventilation for some reason, so having them closed for too long would cause them to heat up. If they're closed for too long, they will begin the, the cool-down protocol. You cannot close the doors during that process. The vents work the same, but it doesn't take as long for them to heat up or cool down. Cam 7 and Cam 6 are the, are the cameras in the vents. Um, if any of the animatronics go in them, all you have to do is click, click the blue icons next to the camera buttons on your security tablet, and they'll close. That's basically it. Okay, I'll let you go on with your job. Okay, so we gotta check the doors for any animatronics, as well as the vents. Which I wasn't told who we have checked the vents for, but right now we're just gonna focus on the doors and see what happens. So apparently I do not need to check the cameras much, except for the vents. Right. Now I'm assuming we're dealing with the toy versions of Daryl, Darla, and Gina, because I saw in another cam in the storage camera that the older models of Daryl, Darla, and Gina are in a parts room. 
So I'm assuming we're dealing with the toy models this night. Because after all, it is a new and improved Mr. Darl's Pizzeria. Alright, can I honk the nose? Oh wait, that's right, they don't have noses. LOL. <laughs> because they're basically Minecraft, Minecraft characters or, and Roblox mixed together. Yeah. So apparently this is actually the first FNAF thing I've ever played where there's no newspaper right before the night and instead it's on your desk. Can I read it or something? Oh, no, I can't read it apparently. Huh. Oop. That's the toy model of Darl. I just saw him. So I gotta close the door, and I'm gonna go check for Darla and Gina or whoever we're dealing with. And obviously, we have to not leave the doors closed for too long or the vents because they will overheat. Okay, so far I dealt with. I'm gonna give them names since I don't really know the official names. So right now I just dealt with Toy Darl, and then we got. Toy. Up oh, here's Darla. Okay, so Darl and Darla are coming from the left door. The toy Darl and Darla, and I think the toy Gina is gonna come from the right door. All right, so once it gets to 30, we will open the door again. Just because I don't want to open it too early, because otherwise I would get killed, obviously. Okay, so I'm assuming Toy Gina is going to come from the right door. Because toy, the toy, the newer models of Darla and, Dar and Darl can't come from the left door. Newer model of Gina, I think, is coming from the right. That's what I believe, because, I don't know, I, have, I haven't had a deal with her yet. I've only had a deal with the, new, the toy models of Darl and Darla. And I'm calling them that because, after all, they are new and improved animatronics. Like with Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And most FNAF fan games. Okay, so it looks like I'm not going to have to check the vents this night since I haven't heard any noise come from the camera. So, looks like we're just going to have to check the doors for this night, not the vents. There's a lot of moving in this game, which is pretty interesting. Okay. There I am, we're making progress. Okay, I'm assuming those little bars right there are how long you can keep the door closed before it overheats. I could be wrong, but I think it is. I don't know, because the doors have un have limited amount of power, but the building has unlimited power. Okay, so I think that's the power for the doors. Okay. Z for the light, X for the door. <laughs> That's an interesting mechanic for the doors and lights. Instead of using your mouse. Most FNAF fan games, and same with FNAF games, you just use your flat... Oh, here's Gina, I see her. Like I was about to say, most FNAF fan games and FNAF games, you use your mouse for the light. Okay, so I'm dealing with Gina right now. Okay, there you go, Gina left. Okay, so... So the toy Darl and Darla will be coming from the left door, and then toy Gina is going to be coming from the right door, or whatever it is. Okay. Okay, I just saw Darl. I'm going to go check for Gina, the newer Gina. I saw the newer Darl. Now I got to check for the newer Gina. Okay, let's check for the newer newer Gina. I saw the newer Darl and Darla. Whatever you want to. Whatever, whatever names you want to call them, I don't know. I'm giving them those names because we might have to deal with the older models on the next night. Because I saw them in the parts room. And hopefully this game's not as hard as... Five Nights at Darl's 1, because Five Nights at Darl's 1 was hard as hell because of the bug with Gina and um, Silver Darl. So hopefully Night Shift at Darl's 1 is not going to be as hard. Because so far it's not looking as hard, so we shouldn't have any as much issues as we did with Five Nights at Darl's 1. 
Because in that game, there were so many issues because of the bugs. And I forgot to mention, this game is made by um, Devin Manning, the creator of the Finest of Darl series. As well as, and he's also the creator of the Night Shift of Darl series, because, and I know that, because there's three games in the series. Okay, I saw, I saw Darl there, so I gotta close the door. Let me check for Gina. Not there. We'll go back to Darl, and we'll open the door in a little bit. There you go. Got rid of Darl. Now let's check for Gina. Okay, Darla, Darla I've only had to deal with once this night for some weird reason. Because I've mostly had been dealing with Darl and Gina. Which means that Darla is slower than Darl and Gina in this game. Let me check. Okay, Gina's not there. Check for Darl and Darla. Not there either. Alright, and we see the night one. Perfect. Okay, and it just jumps into night two, which um, we will take on night two in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.